play ski. Bye, sexy red. Ew, why my voice crack like that? I'm in his privilege, okay? If you catch what I'm saying, you catch what I'm saying. I just think that if you really want to be a content creator, figure out a way to do both. Do you, I repeat, see the vibes? Mm. Yeah, we'll have to start. Go to the top of the car. You don't know about the lot. You don't know what I decide. Can't leave without it. Can't leave without it. How can you stay for the wall? Chase out the deposit. Chase out the deposit. Money just stick with the boy. Y'all, I just had the rudest thing ever happen to me. Literally, I was putting air in my tire. And this guy, him and his privilege, okay? If you catch what I'm saying, you catch what I'm saying. If you don't, you're part of the problem, okay? But anyway. Um, yeah, I'm pumping my air in my tire, y'all. And then I guess I wasn't moving fast enough for him. So he just pulls up behind me, kind of blocks me in. I look, I'm about to reverse. And I'm like, I see this man. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Honk, 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 honk. Like, sir, I'm backing up. So me, I whips Cleo. We, we gonna get out the spot, okay? One thing you're not about to do is keep, hold us hostage, baby. But... He was being impatient, so I figured, okay, then you're willing to get impatiently ran over. Okay, simple as that. If you get hit, you're liable at this point because you made the choice to be impatient. Like, what the heck? Like, people are just so crazy. Like, ugh, so freaking crazy. But anyways, y'all, it's Tuesday. Um, I finished work for the day and I need to edit a vlog for y'all and I really want to get it up today But I'm just feeling very unproductive in my home All I want to do is just watch SWAT and lay down and we're not doing that because we we are on a We are on our we're on our zoom. Okay, I didn't have my laptop and now I have a laptop and it's like girl What did you get this laptop for if you weren't gonna put it to work? Okay, so we're about to go to the Starbucks because I just need a little change of scenery. I'm hoping that it's not packed because I want to sit inside It's way too hot to sit outside y'all. It's like 97 degrees. It's that's what my car says, which is Bonkers, okay, like why would it ever be that hot, but We're gonna go to Starbucks if this Starbucks is kind of packed We'll just go to another Starbucks Tia actually gave me a gift card So I don't know if y'all remember in this vlog. I was telling y'all that Tia gave me a card. It was so cute. It was a card from her and Cooper with a Starbucks gift card in it. One thing my sis gonna do is support a Starbucks habit, okay? So, yeah, shout out to Cooper and Tia for my Starbies that I'm about to have. I haven't had a matcha in a minute, so I think I'm gonna do a matcha. I've been making my own green teas at home, so I'm not really feeling that today. I definitely wanna do a matcha. One thing about me, I will prioritize short form content because I know it's easier for me to do as opposed to like editing a vlog. Like my sit down videos are so easy easy for me to edit but vlogs just take me a lot longer and I think it's because I don't edit vlogs as much so I think once I start editing it a little bit more I'll get into kind of like a routine and that way it'll be a little bit easier on me but yeah anytime I feel unproductive I just go to like a coffee shop and it don't have to be extravagant sometimes I go to Starbucks sometimes I go to Dunkin just basically anywhere that's not my home and near a bed or a place where I can lay down because I'm gonna choose to do that clearly and if we're feeling extra spicy we gonna also edit some more short form content because I'm actually going to do a real challenge on Instagram I actually want to announce it so we're just kind of gonna take this opportunity in the coffee shop to get organized we're gonna use it to plan content and also create a posting schedule for me so I know that on TikTok, I'm posting this TikTok this day, this TikTok that day, and then as far as Instagram, same thing. And I'm gonna kind of start treating my Instagram pretty much like I treat my YouTube channel. So with my YouTube channel, I'm very strict when it comes to my planning. Like I know what video I wanna post on what day, and then that also tells me what I need to film, when I need to edit, and things like that. So I feel like my Instagram and TikTok can also benefit from that, so that way I feel like I'm not scrambling. I just feel like when it comes to this content, crea uh, uh, content creator realm, you definitely have to be a planner. Like, you have to be organized. Doing things on the fly is gonna make you feel stressed, it's gonna make you feel overwhelmed. And me, as a procrastinator baby, that has never been one of my strong suits. <laughs> so, it's definitely caused me to work on that and get a lot better with it. I think my hardest part is not necessarily planning but sticking to what I planned so making that plan sort of like a non-negotiable hey y'all so I've been wanting and thinking about doing a real challenge for the longest and I decided I'm actually going to do it but I wanted to go ahead and one let y'all know that I'm doing a challenge so y'all not like why is this girl bombarding us like why is she posting so much and two just in case y'all want to join in I know a lot of y'all are also trying to grow your social media platform so what I'm going to be doing is a real challenge yeah I'm 
Adam's tour. I got foreigns all colors like a pack of Starbursts. When they ask me how it happened, I just tell them God work. Play ski by Sexy Red. Ew, why my voice crack like that? Ski. Now Ugh. playing Pound Town by Sex Eye Red. And Girl, I said Apple ski, music. not Pound Town. Good morning, y'all. It is early in the morning. As y'all can see, it's dark outside. It is Wednesday. I am headed into the office. I'm a little tired today. I went to bed early, but I am still a little tired. I just think I've come to the realization I'm just not a morning person. It don't matter what time I go to bed, what time, I, how many hours of sleep I get, it's just still not the vibes for your girl. So if I'm very much monotone, that is why, sis. Um, we're headed in the office. I can really tell that it's starting to be fall because it's still dark. It's starting to get dark when I go into the office. Usually when I go in the office, it's a little bit bright. Like it's already starting to get pretty light outside. But yeah, girl, Miss Fall is coming. But I wanted to talk to y'all this morning because I just had a lot on my mind and a lot on my heart. And I feel like y'all can benefit from what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I posted a real challenge. And the reason I posted about the real challenge is for one, so I can hold myself accountable. And two, because I realized that there are other people like me who want to grow on social media, but they maybe just need a push or need someone there to support them uplift them and be there for them i'm lucky to have friends that really uplift me and support me when it comes to this content creator journey and i realize that not everybody has that and so i really want to create that support system even though the challenge is for a week i want y'all to know if y'all are watching this if you need content creator support just dm me reach out to me like i got y'all like there are a few of y'all who do reach out to me but i just want to extend the offer because that support goes a long way another thing that i want to talk about as i'm heading into the office is the fact that working a full-time job is hard when you're trying to be a content creator i think we forget that a lot of our favorite content creators favorite youtubers no longer work another job right they only do content creation that is their full-time job that is their income that is all they are responsible for doing they're an entrepreneur you can't look to what works for them to figure out what works for you i think it's important that y'all look to people who are in the same position as you for example me as someone who works a nine to five and then still also does content created content creation on the side is gonna be a better person to look to as a to someone who is a full-time content creator if you are not able to be a full-time content creator just be mindful of your expectations basically what I mean by that is even me myself I used to be looking at my favorite youtubers my favorite content creators and be like dang she posts every other day or dang she posts every other day on YouTube she posts every day on TikTok she posts every day on Instagram like dang I need to be doing that because that's how she got all her followers not realizing like this is this is a full-time job now like this is what she's responsible for and that's all she has to do that's very different than somebody having to clock in work a certain amount of hours and then still squeeze in time to do this other thing that may not be giving you anything at all in return um so i just want to let y'all know that um just make sure that you're not setting your expectations too high i think it's a good thing to have goals and to push yourself but also be realistic with yourself like because i think i was going through that a little bit i'm like dang like i need to do this i need to do that i need to do this i need to do that and the reality is consistency trumps everything right so if you're able to consistently post twice a week on youtube stick to twice a week on youtube just because you see sarah posting five times a week on youtube don't mean you need to do the same thing to grow however you do need to be consistent to grow right so if you can do three times a week great if you can only do once a week great but just whatever consistently you can keep up with and maintain y'all had to make sure that bug wasn't in my car yeah and i just want to encourage y'all and just let y'all know that y'all are supported by me um i'm happy when y'all talk to me about content because just like y'all i be needing to vent about content too like it's stressful it's a very it's very frustrating when you put all this time and effort into content and it doesn't perform well 
but that's just the name of the game y'all like and that's why a lot of people don't last when it comes to this content creator stuff because when it comes to content creation majority of people will have to do it for a long period of time before they see a return on their investment so that's why people say a lot that you really have to love it like you really have to be doing something that you love because a majority of the time you're not going to be reaping any benefits like you're not in the beginning you're not gonna have any benefits none like and there are some people who don't get me wrong they take off overnight but like but those people are like slim and none you know what I mean like it's very rare for that to be the case um and so if you're on your content creator journey and you also have another job I first and foremost will urge you to not quit your job <laughs> like that is becoming a trend and if you are in a financial position where you can do that great go for it but I feel like majority of people are not and that's just gonna add more stress um, more anxiety more like just it's not even gonna be an enjoyable experience for you because now it's like I have to make money from this I have to blah 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 I just feel like it's not a good way to start I think for me personally if you guys have a job that you don't like my advice would be to a try to find another job that you like um while still doing content creation like i would never recommend to someone to just up and quit their job and put all their eggs in a content creation basket for one content creation is very up and down you will hear, hear this from top youtubers you have some months where you make a ton of money some months where you make a little less and it takes content creators a while to get to a point where it's like okay I can consistently say that I'm gonna get this amount of money every month and even though you can you can say that you can't really a, a thousand percent say that if that makes sense um, because your money just fluctuates right like your AdSense will never be the same your sponsorship amount of money will never be the same um, so there's just things like that that come into play and I think people see so many people blowing up on TikTok um, and they're like, dang, like, I want to be like her. I want to be like this. For one, I want to let y'all know that followers does not equal money. OK, just like let, let's start there. Followers does not equal money. Just because you have a lot of followers does not mean you're getting a ton of money. There are ton of, tons of people on the Internet with a lot of followers that are begging for cash apps and begging for Venmos and Zells like that doesn't mean you have a lot of money so I don't know I think it's just important to have a journey and struggle through the journey I just feel like you appreciate once you get to the top a lot more um, and it just builds character like for me personally um, this journey has been nothing but easy I do have days where I'm like why am I not growing or I do have days where I'm like dang I feel like I should be at 100k by now you know what is going on do the girls not like me like what is the problem like you know like what what is it but it's just simply that it's not my time like it's not my time and what I can do until it is my time and to ensure that my time comes is be consistent and be true to who I am if there's something that y'all notice on this channel I don't do a lot of sponsorships any sponsorships that I've done typically it's been with the same repeated company or companies that I really love and enjoy your girl gets reached out to by companies all the time and for me what's most important is my word I want y'all to be able to trust me and I know for me and my favorite youtubers my most important thing is my trust to them like if I feel like I can't trust you girl I'm not following okay I, what do I need to follow you for everything you say at this point is just going in one ear and out the other right so trust to me is like a big thing when it comes to content creation and I'm very picky when it comes to sponsorship so if y'all ever see a sponsorship on this channel just know your girl is very 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 picky I feel like also if you up and quit your job and are trying to get money from being a content creator and you're in that position where you're desperate like you got bills to pay and things like that you're not able to be selective with the sponsorships that you take and then you're just gonna become in a position where it's just all about money and so I feel like when you get in that position you compromise your integrity and the worst thing I feel like that you can lose when it comes to being a content creator is the trust of your audience if you don't have your audience trust the baby you have absolutely nothing okay so that is my little spiel I do not recommend that you guys quit your jobs unless you are in a position where you financially can support yourself 
if the content creation does not take off. I just think that if you really wanna be a content creator, figure out a way to do both. Like that is what somebody who really wants something is willing to do. They're willing to be on their Zoom. They're willing to work late. They're willing to maybe stay up all night. They're willing to wake up early to edit and do what they need to do to make it work but still make sure they have a cushion or something to fall back on. I never recommend doing anything without a backup plan, y'all, because the world is so unpredictable. Content creation is unpredictable. Like you just never, you never know what any of this stuff, you know what I mean? So you always wanna have something to fall back on. I just wanna encourage y'all that if you wanna be a content creator, right and you really really want to be one like you're not just saying that because you see your favorite youtuber in a, a c class okay you're not just saying that because you see your favorite youtuber buying every chanel bag you know what i mean so you have to really want it and understand that it takes time i think we've gotten in a mindset where we see people at their peak in their prime and we didn't really witness the struggle in some cases we do but in most cases we don't typically by the time you found a person they've already popped off and so you didn't see them struggle you didn't see them filming videos with bad lighting you didn't see them um filming videos with terrible audio you know what i mean so that's just something to consider y'all i just want to put that out there because i feel like it's so not talked about and I want to encourage y'all that if you are a 9 to 5 girly that is trying to balance content creation, please look to other people who are doing the same thing, okay? Stop comparing yourself to people who are not in the same shoes as you. That's not going to benefit you. Um, and number two, you have to figure out what works for you. What works for somebody else might not work for you. And the only way you're going to figure out what works for you is trial and error. So... Yeah, y'all, let's get in this content creator bag. I'm so excited for my real challenge. A lot of you guys are interested and I'm super excited. I'm excited to encourage y'all and like push y'all, which I feel like will help in turn push me and encourage me to do my part. I feel like when it comes to being a content creator, there's room for everybody to win. And if somebody tells you that uh, it's oversaturated, they're lying because if you think about it in a terms of fashion, right? How many clothing brands are there out there that are successful? There's Zara, there's H&M, right? There's um, Aritzia, there's uh, Macy's, there's Nordstrom's, there's um, My Outfit Online, there's like just tons and tons, like the, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And the reason it is that way is because not everything works for everybody so you could be that person that just fits well with somebody else so don't let people tell you oh this is oversaturated don't think it's oversaturated yes there may be a lot of people in the space doing the same thing but baby there's only one you and there are things about you that make you unique right so for me what makes me unique i'm short i'm also curvy what makes me unique um I would like to think that I like to crack jokes, right? Like I'm constantly like just popping my mouth and y'all love that, y'all enjoy that. Now for everybody, they don't want that. Some people might be like, girl, just show us the clothes in a professional way and talk about the fabric and that's it. We don't need your little jokes. We don't need your little commentary, just, you know? So I just want y'all to understand that there is space for everybody here. Don't think either that they're, it's oversaturated or you don't have a chance, it's too late nah sis there are still people starting their channels today who who knows where they'll be in the next six months who knows where they'll be in the next year and you won't know where you'll be unless you try unless you start and i feel like that's the first step is just starting i feel like a lot of people are scared to start even for me in the beginning oh excuse me it took me a minute to like start my channel i kept like talking myself out of it i kept being like uh, you need to get better camera or you need to get better lighting or you need to paint your room or you need to wait until um, you finish school or girl it's never gonna be the perfect time I'm just telling y'all that now there's no such thing as the perfect time the perfect time is now okay I'm telling you here now the perfect time is now sis okay start that channel start that Instagram start that TikTok. yes people are gonna think you look crazy think it's funny think like what is she doing I mean we all go through that but at the same time these will be the same people in the future saying oh my god I love your channel oh my god your YouTube channel is growing oh my god you got to work with this brand oh my god like 
girl forget them people forget everybody just worry about what you want what your goals are and everything else will fall into place honey i just wanted to talk to y'all about that i don't know it's just like heavy on my mind i feel like i literally went on a little car rant but i'm hoping that if this helps or benefits one person then it served its purpose and i'm not just talking my head off i'm sorry y'all these streets are bay but I'm about to go into the office, y'all. I'm gonna have a good, productive work day. I hope y'all are having a great day as well. And I don't know when this vlog is gonna go up. It'll probably be honestly after my real challenge. And if it does go up after my real challenge, then I just wanna encourage y'all to do your own real challenge. Like, you don't have to wait for me, girl. Start your own real challenge and make sure you batch your content, pre-edit your content so you're prepared and you don't feel overwhelmed and do it yourself girl like take the initiative and do it yourself um and if y'all need me to hold y'all accountable dm me girl and i'll be like checking your page every day like where the real at where the content at girl is back home from work i had a pretty good work day nothing too oh not stuff falling over nothing too crazy happened it was a pretty chill work day um it was cool honestly y'all i'm surprised my hair is still surviving one thing I will tell y'all about these bundles, it looks good, but like you cannot run your fingers through. Like this hair is nappy. Like for $10 a pack, that's kind of what I expected. But like honestly, all you have to do is kind of just like go like that and it's good to go. Like it's super easy, low maintenance type of hairstyle, which I like. Um, we're going to see how this holds up when we go to the gym tonight because I have not been to the gym um, in a minute because I was trying to preserve this hairstyle, but now I kind of don't. I don't want to say I don't care about preserving it, but it's just not like a top priority for me anymore. I feel like I kind of got like my wear out of the hairstyle, but oh, not y'all dirty. Let me wipe y'all off. My babes off. The reason I hopped on here is because I got a package from Charles and Keith. I have never ordered from this brand. I've just seen so much hype around this brand when it comes to TikTok and they do a lot of designer dupes. So I thought I would open this package with y'all and i will say i feel like this took a little long to come it shipped from singapore i think it took about two weeks they do offer a lot of coupons and discounts so definitely like be on the lookout for that this bag is so cute look at the detailing y'all it says charles and keith and it's just like a little handle bag i'm gonna be honest with y'all i got this to go with my tony bianco boots i got this um for some looks that i was planning for fashion week but you guys know i'm not going anymore but i'm still gonna slay this look i want to see if these go with my tony bianco boots but here's the inside it's kind of like um i don't know what type of style bag you would call this like a bucket bag um so it's open it does have like this clasp that's magnetic which is super nice and it does come with a dust bag as well as a cross body strap this is the bag i think she's super cute y'all and then i do like the option that if i wanted to wear her cross body i could do that but i did not pick up this bag with like the intention of wearing it cross body i don't hate that i don't hate that is this adjustable and it is adjustable y'all so i can adjust this to like my perfect length so this next bag i'm super excited about because this is supposed to be like a chanel do you know if you guys have been seeing like the little hobo bags from chanel that are super trendy i love the style of that bag i'm learning about myself that i do think i'm a hobo bag type of girl so i saw this one and i just could not resist do y'all see the quality and one thing i love about these bags it does have the logo like the name but it's so minimal and simplistic but look at how cute so like this is it and it is in the large size, but although this is large, it's not like too big, if that makes sense. Do you, I repeat, see the vibes? She's cute. She's stunning. This bag looks so expensive. I am obsessed. For one, I don't have any black bags with gold hardware, so that's why I was drawn to this. So I just think this is like a perfect kind of throw on everyday type of bag if you're like running errands. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it comes with another strap that you can actually use to wear it across the body. So let's look on the inside. So it comes with a little pouch super cute then you get a dust bag which is super important because y'all a lot of designer bags don't even become with dust bags nowadays look at the detailing here's the cross body out the bag she is too long for me but i saw 
ways that I can kind of tweak. I know ways that I can tweak this to shorten it if I did want to wear it crossbody. But I really don't want to because look at how long it is on me, y'all. I'm only five foot, so I kind of expect that to happen. But you can also, if you want to, leave the chain on it and wear it like these. You know, I just feel like this bag has versatility. And I feel like you could even probably double this and wear it. Oh, wait, is this a way for you to shorten it? Or you can even carry it with the bigger strap and let the two straps in the front be like this so like here is it crossbody with that other piece kind of hanging in the back so yeah and you're able to kind of adjust this to whatever length you desire but i think this bag is so cute you guys and it fits a ton there is a pocket over here and also a zipper pocket right here um, and then of course it comes with the pouch definitely about to be checking out Charles and Keith because I didn't know they was doing the girls like this okay baby they got every dupe of every bag that you can possibly think of girl so go ahead and save you some coins and go ahead and head over to Charles and Keith and get you a bag okay this video is not sponsored but their bags are it good morning babes today is <clears throat> thursday um and i just pulled up to the beauty supply store um because i want my mom to turn these bundles that i have into clip-ins so for one i have to get the clips so that she can do that and then for two, I also need to dye the bundles because y'all know I was ginger. So now I need to dye the bundles um, jet black so that they match my hair color. So we're going to go in this beauty supply store real quick. So let's go ahead. Oh my God, the lighting is so bad right here. But let's go ahead and head into the beauty supply store. Hopefully I don't have a problem recording in there. Y'all know how to beauty supply store be. Okay, so let's go ahead and head in. Ain't put no cap inside my wrap, ain't too much leaky, y'all. Hello, can I start with the Hi, can I do a grande iced um, matcha latte with oat milk? Um, and can I add pumpkin sauce to that and pumpkin cold foam on top, please? Thank you, have a good one. At first sip, always hit. So I got my usual order, which is a grande matcha latte with pumpkin sauce and pumpkin cold foam on top and oat milk, of course. And she looks delectable. This literally looks like the perfect fall drink. Okay, we got our beautiful olive green and then we got our orange. I'm gonna just show y'all what I got from the beauty supply store. I got a hard bristle brush. If you don't know, a hard bristle brush is hard to find, okay, baby? And this one's black, so that's why I got it and it's actually hard, okay? I can't tell you how many times I've seen brushes that say hard bristle brush and it ain't nothing hard about it okay I like my hair to be sleek therefore I need a hard brush so I got this one definitely recommend this brand which is red and it's called the hard curved club and I decided to get the black one because it looked cuter than the brown one and I like that this brush isn't too big so it'll be easy to like travel with and take with me then I got my hair color so my hair is dyed this color which is the Wella 1N. And it's like kind of like a little bit of like, it looks like a blue black on the picture, but in person to me, it doesn't look blue at all. And then I also got this 10, oh, focus, this 10 volume by Clairol. This is just like the cheapest developer because I'm just dying my hair black, y'all. It's not that serious. And I was super annoyed because they didn't have the hair clips that I needed. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and order those from Amazon actually right now. Outside of chat, I mean, first off, we've seen like all of your Skims videos and you're just like the ultimate Skims girl. And we're just <laughs> yeah. so excited to work with you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited too. How are you? Uh, I know, doing all right. Good. A Shea? We're going to go for Shea. Um, do you guys have that new chicken sandwich? Yeah, the honey pimento. Yeah. yeah. It's not on the many butters. Okay, yeah. Can I do that sandwich? Just the sandwich. All right. And then you want a regular, spicy, or a grilled? Regular. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Any sauce? 
Uh, can I do a uh, honey roasted barbecue sauce, please? All right, so it'll be seven fifty-two. Okay, let's try this sandwich. This is the new Chick-fil-A honey pimento sandwich. And I've been dying to try it. I decided to get it regular. Jalapenos already sound spicy. So I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to do a spicy sandwich on top of that. Because your girl got acid reflux. I can always say take out this hair today. This is the sandwich. Oh, she smell good. This cheese kind of smells like to me. You know how like you get that queso from Chipotle or like a queso from Moe's? That's what it smells like. And then it has like the sauce on there. I don't know if y'all can tell. Pickles at the bottom. Oh, girl, these aren't pickles. These are jalapenos. I should have asked for pickles. I like pickles on my sandwich, but I don't know. I just thought it came with pickles. I thought Chick-fil-A, like, standard. But let's do our first bite taste test. Honestly, it's pretty good. I definitely could have done it with a spicy filet because it's honestly not that spicy, y'all. Y'all see that? It's so good. 